Hi, I'm David Maldo with Let's Do Video, and a few days ago my Zoom updated and I got a message saying they had a new whiteboard feature. So I took a look at it, and it was a lot more than I expected. I think it might actually change the way a lot of people work, so I wanted to share with you what I learned. Now I may seem a little overly excited about a whiteboard, but there were two things I really liked. As I was looking at it, I had these two moments. There was my ooh, ooh. when I first saw that this was different, and then there was the ah moment, ah. and the full value came together. So let's take a look and, and I can show you what I mean. So here we have the Zoom app. Now it's funny, I think a lot of people use Zoom all the time. They click on links and get into Zoom meetings and send out links for their own Zoom meetings and don't realize they have a Zoom app. This is a pretty good management app. It has scheduling, ways to create meetings. Uh, it has chat. I think Zoom chat might be a little bit overlooked when it comes to business chat applications. But when I looked at this, there was a new tab at the top, whiteboards that wasn't there before. Previously, like I said before, you could create whiteboards in Zoom meetings, but then they would just go away. There was nothing, there was nothing here. So let's click on it and see what we got. And already here, here's my Zoom moment. This is a library of permanent persistent boards, project-based boards that could be shared with various team members or shared with you. You could have a board for each project and it stays here. So let's take a, let's open up, I created earlier an LDV test board. And I don't want to spend too much time on the features of the board itself. It has, if I had to spend time on it, then they must have done something wrong. This is what you could expect. You could put up text, you can uh, upload images from your computer, sticky notes, graphics, you can move things around, the hours, the colors, the shapes, everything you expect from a whiteboard. But what's key is there's no save button. This is all live in the cloud. I have this board shared, and the share is obviously crucial, with Anna on my team. If she happens to have this open right now and is, is looking at it, when I move the screen triangle, it moves on her screen. If she was to make a change, I would see it here. This is a live, hot collaboration board for your team. And if I go back to the library, I can easily just create a new board. Call this LDV. Board two, and let's make a little um, a little shape or something here. Draw little ocean waves. <laughs> Not the best ocean waves, but just to have something there. And now when I go back to my library, we have our two boards. So now you see, you, you see why I think people will be working this way. This is a persistent way to keep track of all your projects. So that was my ooh moment. To see my ah moment, we have to go into a Zoom meeting. So let's do that now. So here we are in Zoom. This should look familiar to everyone. And if we look at our toolbar, we have a new button, whiteboards, that wasn't there before. And when we click it, up comes that same library. And when we open our test board, we get a screen split with our people on one side and that same live board on the other side. Now we're in a meeting with our people and everyone can, collect, can collaborate together live on the board. And it's that same live board. If I move it here again, if Anna happens to be online, she'll see it move. That was my own moment. I really can see a lot of people working this way, especially when they know there's no need to take a screenshot of it. This board is going to be in their libraries when the meeting is over. So Zoom whiteboards doesn't really require much more of a tutorial or explanation. And I think that was Zoom's intention here. Let me know what you think in the comments and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.